everybody, Paul Richards here. I'm the Chief Streaming Officer of PTZ Optics. And I'm Matthew Davis, and I'm here today to talk about USB hosts. Ooh. <laughs> we often get asked if uh, people can utilize multiple USB 3 cameras with a single PC, and the answer is yes, but you need to make sure you're using the right hardware so that you're not having a constant battle. Um, so most people suggest right off the bat using a generic USB 3 hub. So if we take a peek at one, um, this, while it seems like it should solve the problem, unfortunately, typically will create more problems than it solves. And the problem is really hiding on the PCB. So if we take a look at the inside of this um, device, we'll see if we start searching around one single USB 3 host chipset. So we essentially have four USB 3 ports bottlenecked by a single host chip. And unfortunately, bottlenecks and bandwidth are not a good thing. Um, so what can we do to solve the problem? Um, unfortunately, a USB 3 camera, when plugged in, is going to pre-allocate its bandwidth. Uh, so you can't really do much there. Luckily, there is some hardware that exists out there. You just need to know where to look. Um, we are using ourselves a piece by a company called StarTech. Uh, the device itself is the PEX USB 3S 44V. And this product has four USB 3.0 ports. And if we were to go looking for the same USB host chipsets on this, you'll quickly see that there are four on here. So each USB 3 port has its own dedicated USB 3 host chipset. Fantastic! We no longer have a USB bottleneck. Um, so, I guess what I'd like to recommend is if you're, if you're planning a multi-camera system, make sure that you're selecting the right hardware. Uh, the StarTech piece here is not the only uh, USB 3 host chip, or you know, USB 3 card that has four dedicated ports. There's plenty of them out there. It's just this is what we use ourselves and know works very, very well. Um, so when designing a system, just be careful with what you select or you might be beating your head against a wall, unfortunately. So Matt, how much does that, that StarTech uh, unit cost? Uh, it's about 80 to $90. That's it for that right there? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's not, uh, and if you really only needed two, they do make one that has two dedicated host chipsets on it for $70. Um, fantastic piece, and StarTech support is fantastic as well. Now, if somebody just has a regular laptop, let's say like my Dell here, I have three USB 3s on one side and one on the other, makes me think I have like two host chipsets. Yeah, and um, only because I selected your PC do I know you definitely have two in there. Um, but if you aren't sure how many host chipsets your PC has, um, you can look in Device Manager. Before you do this, though, it is recommended to update all the drivers for your USB cards in your laptop or desktop, um, as sometimes they won't show up properly until all the drivers or latest drivers are fully installed. Once you get into there, though, you should be able to see how many host chipsets exist for your computer. And don't count the virtual ones. <laughs> Cool. So, and I guess um, one of these days we'll definitely pull out our giant beast of a computer, which has 12 USB 3 ports. So that means four of these cards. Yeah. Um, and we can do 1080p60 on all of them. Yep, without a problem. Um, so it's really cool. It's really fun. We'll probably pull that up in a separate vlog. But that has been our vlog for today, everybody. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our free virtual sets, tips, tricks, and tutorials. And then every Friday we do a live stream on a different technology. Um, and industry partners. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us. Thanks, everybody.